We have time for one last word with Uval Noah Harari. I want you to talk about, you write about this in, in your book, immortalism. Tell me about that. Well, what is happening today is that death is becoming a technical problem. For most of history, death was a metaphysical issue. People believed that death is kind of the destiny of humans, that when gods or the gods created humans, they set death as their destiny, and there is nothing we can do about it. And that actually it's not so bad because death is in a way the source of meaning of life. Or maybe not death itself, what happens to you after you die? You go to heaven or you go to hell or to this place or to that place based on what you did in your life. And this is actually what gives meaning mm. to everything you do during your, your lifetime. And this was the prevailing view for thousands of years. Now in the last few centuries, science came up with this new view of death that death is basically just a technical problem, not a meta metaphysical issue. People die not because the gods said so. People die because their heart stops pumping blood or because an artery is clogged or because there are cancerous cells in the liver or whatever. These are all technical problems. And the idea of science is that every technical problem has a technical solution. Maybe we don't know the solution yet, mm -hmm. but we are working on it, and eventually we will find cure to all these problems, all these diseases, illnesses, and so forth, and we can overcome old age and death. For centuries, this may have sounded like complete science fiction, and most scientists said, we don't try to overcome death, we just try to overcome this particular disease or that particular disease. But now, more and more scientists are beginning to say that no, what we are really trying to do is completely overcome old age mm -hmm. and death and give people, at least some people, maybe the rich people who could afford it, all the treatments, we could give people a chance of our mortality. It's not immortality. Immortality is like God, you cannot die. No matter what happens, you cannot die. Our mortality is something a bit different. If something terrible happens, like a truck runs you over, then you're dead and nothing we can do can help you. But and if you avoid all these misfortunes, you can go every 10 years to the clinic and get some rejuvenation treatment that will give you another 10 years of good health. Mm. Uh, you have the body that you had when you were 20 or 30s for another 10 years and another 10 years and another 10 years. And like that, you cheat death 10 years at a time. Mm. Why are we so obsessed with trying to break free of our, our, our human form, our, our biology? Uh, because most humans don't really want to die and don't really want to, to get old, especially today when the main value, at least of Western culture, is the value of human life. The most basic human rights, it, right is the right to live. And it's never said people have the right to live until the age of 90. They have a right to live, period. And there is no point where science or society will say, OK, we cured cancer, we cured AIDS, but let people go on die from Alzheimer. We don't care. <laughs> no. As long as people die from something, they will want to overcome whatever it is. Uval, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Help TVO create a better world through the power of learning. Visit supporttvo.org and make a tax-deductible donation today.